What's up you guys? Uh, we're here at the store, but the store is actually closed. We're mainly focusing on curbside pickup and delivery now. We do like a produce box delivery. We don't want to shut it down completely, you know, because we still need to pay our bills, pay our rent, and then eventually pay ourselves. So instead of retracting, we're expanding into other options and keeping this business thriving. And it's actually been uh, very, very busy for us more so than usual people are buying more than usual and we're getting a lot of new customers this is our chance to win new customers and that was uh, a comment actually made by one of our subscribers um, you're absolutely right this is the time um, where people can't go anywhere else they're not going out to eat you know cafeterias aren't open so they're coming to buy more groceries and doing some cooking on their own so we didn't want to close because we know it's going to be beneficial for our business we're taking all the precautions necessary and limiting the amount of people that we actually come in contact with as much as possible by the way guys if you want to support this channel please hit the like button and subscribe if you're interested in small business entrepreneurship or um, just want to support this channel thanks a lot let's get into it so we made this decision after a little while you know for the personal health of our state I just saw moldy orange. I'll be right back. You can't, you can't leave that on the camera. It's the personal safety of us, our customers, and the people we come in contact with after working, um, which isn't really many. Just you know, if we're at, you know another store buying things we don't carry, then it's just beneficial to do it this way. Um, the business isn't hurting by any means now. We know grocery is doing well uh, across the board, so. Yeah, we're uh, we're not too worried about our business in general. We do need to take this precaution, and unfortunately, a lot of people are going to be upset because they still like walking in, and uh, and still don't really get the concept of social distancing and you know buying what you need and going home, and not you know picking up two bananas or a piece of fresh bread or something, because that's what they have always done. And they don't and they refuse to change. That's not right. If you're going into a store, you need to make it you know purposeful so you can go home and stay home um, it puts everyone at less risk if you uh, do your groceries this way if anybody is wondering our stock is completely full we're keeping up with it as much as possible if anything our stock has never looked more fresh because it's rotating so quick so a lot of customers are you know complimenting us now your produce looks amazing well of course it, when it sells our produce could be the best produce in the world as long as it keeps selling. When things sit on the counter, that's when they start to kind of, you know, look more dull or have less taste or kind of, you know, not look as fresh. When things sell, they look the best, right? For my pocket and the customer's visual appeal for the product. We basically came into the store today for Felicia to catch up on some orders that we're getting through email, text, and phone calls. And we're starting to get most of them ready now because people are coming tomorrow morning early to pick them up as we get more orders for the rest of the day. The minimum order for our pickups and deliveries are $30. You know, to get everything ready, get it shipped out and everything, we need to actually make sure people aren't just buying, you know, a pack of grape tomatoes or a dozen eggs or something, because that really slows us down uh, for the other bulk orders for people who are actually shopping with us and not just coming to us as a last resort. Um, this really helped our business as well because it really eliminated anyone just buying one or two things now they have to spend you know at least thirty dollars in our store and it's you know it's beneficial to them they only have to do one um, they only have to go to one place we only have to get one order ready for them they don't come back the next day with another two items and then the day after with another two items it saves everyone time and it really encouraged my average order uh, to be a little higher than normal so as I explained before if we have a hundred customers in a day who spend 14 you know you can do the math there compared to if we have a hundred customers a day who spend 28 there's a really nice difference there and uh, it, you know this minimum order has really helped our business as well so any money that we're making now and any money that you guys may be making or getting from the government I'm hoping you don't spend on anything foolish the money that we're bringing in now that's a little bit extra than our usual revenue, we're going to reinvest into this business. Um, I'm adding a three-door freezer eventually and we're going to try to do like a, if you can look over here, this will all be one gigantic grocery wall. This, Not this right here, but let's put it right over here. This 
will be all one grocery wall. So everything will be organized, pastas, oils, vinegars, right down the center, uh, right down this side of the wall. So people can just go here, do grocery on this side, you know, produce in the middle, freezer and dairy in the uh, on this side of the store. And to be honest, all of our grocery is kind of at the bottom here, which the visibility is terrible. And then it's also mixed over here and on this shelf, on that shelf. So I'm really trying to organize the store and I'll be reinvesting anything we make during this time to make this store a better experience for the customer, better for the community, to have more access to more products that they want. We have so many people coming in, do you have this, this, and this, especially during these times that um, we are lacking in certain areas um, that we really could improve on. I brought this one as a special <laughs> guest for today. She's acting like she's so busy, so she didn't want to be on camera. And he's pulling on my hair. Yeah. Anyways, so we've been doing curbside pickups, which I'm sure he's mentioned. Um, I think I made a mistake by giving out my cell phone number because my phone, especially when we're open, is like nonstop. Like I can't even answer everybody. Phone calls, texts, everything. Yeah, we try to keep personal and business aside or uh, separate, um, but we opened up two phone lines to help you know and it's the crazy. flow of traffic. Today's our day off. I've already, ha I have like about eight or nine orders already just right now that have to be done for tomorrow and I'm sure we're going to have a lot more as the night progresses and tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people seem to message me at like eight o'clock in the morning so yeah. I don't bother answering till 10 because we're not open but our turnaround time is a lot better than the big box stores. So instead of waiting two weeks for your groceries, we almost do it that day or the day after, depending how busy we are. So that's our advantage of being a small business against places like the Superstore or Walmart, where they have so many orders, they can't keep up with them. Hey guys, I'm back at the condo now. We The camera died, we did some uh, wholesale pickups and Felicia's making some dinner as you saw. I wanted to finish up this video. We eventually are gonna do a condo tour, right Phil? Yes. Um, but we Eventually. we need to like make this place look pristine, like, you know, real estate agent showing a potential buyer pristine. Um, so we're waiting on that. That's gonna come soon when things die out with the stores. Well, you know, not die out, but level off. So to give you an example on how the store did um, over the month of March compared to February, February we did about 29,000 in sales and March we did over 40,000. So, I mean, you can just tell the difference there and April is on trend to do even more than March. Um, this is a small store, 1,600 square feet. Um, you can just see the trends, you know, with the uh, shape the world is in and how grocery is being treated right now. Um, there's not much more walk-in traffic. It's all curbside slash deliveries. So um, we really needed to expand and uh, find different avenues of making money for our store essentially. Um, when everyone's retracting, we're trying to expand and find uh, ways to survive amongst this chaos. And as a small business and entrepreneur in general, that's your job to adapt in, the, in these situations and find the best method for your business to thrive or, you know, you know, survive as bad as things may come. Um, your job is to figure those ways out that's best for you and do what you can uh, to keep, uh, keep moving. And uh, hopefully things look up from here. And we, I wish you all the best in your endeavors as well. Thanks for watching this, guys. It was a quick uh, little video we wanted to share with you on an update on how we're handling things. And uh, Felicia wants to say bye to you while she's cooking up some nice steaks. What are you making over there? Did you marinate those? I did. Okay. And now I'm eating some cheese. Give us a rundown on the menu. Steak. Nice. Salad. Nice. And french fries for the big boy over here. Nice. And what to drink? A nice glass of red wine? Wine and water. Okay. That oh, you're, wow, you're mixing those together. Nice. Okay. Thanks for watching those uh, video, guys. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's an interesting time. Subscribe for more and uh, we love you.